going on, y'all? It's been a little minute, nation. Back at it, though. Videos every week. Y'all know how I'm coming. Only reason I'm just amped up, y'all. See why, man. The boy got the fresh cut. All that good stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but we in the lab, man. And I wanted to show y'all some stuff today while I'm working on a few exclusive pieces for some clients of mine. So I was like, let me go ahead and get the camera. Let me show them right quick what I'm working on. So today I got some glow-in-the-dark uh, vinyl I'm working with. I got some color changing vinyl that I'm working with. And I got some 3D and reflective that I'm working with that's gonna be layered. So I get a lot of questions about layering 3D and uh, reflective and layering 3D and suede flock vinyl. So I want to show y'all that and just show y'all how y'all can, you know, put it together. So I got a design specifically for that. I got some glow in the dark that I already printed. I just really want to show y'all how hard it hit and then, you know, drop y'all the link where y'all can get that at. And then the different colors they have. So yeah, that glow in the dark crazy too. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. You can go outside for like 30 seconds and walk back in and it's literally beaming, like glowing so hard. You ain't gonna even believe it. Wait, I'll show y'all, man. I got it already set up. So the glow in the dark, the layered 3D uh, on top of reflective what well, ain't necessarily on top of it but the 3d is the outline and the reflective is the insert of the words so that and then the color change of vinyl of course y'all know what that do i showed y'all before but i just want to show y'all while i got like three or four sets and i ain't never show y'all the orange so we're gonna go in the photo room after i finish all this we're gonna show y'all the color change of vinyl the glow in the dark vinyl and we're gonna show y'all the layered 3d foam but actually i'm gonna show y'all the layer 3d foam while i print because i gotta finish four of the shirts right quick so all right now i'm pressing the base down but I still gotta finish four of the shirts. And yeah, these are the shorter stuff right here. And y'all see I done switched the room up once again. So now, the couch, y'all remember the couch used to be on this wall right here. I switched the couch back here again. Got this in the corner in a different spot that used to be facing the other way. And then I got the big boy vinyl cutter right here in the cut, all that. Now I done brought the TV in here. I ain't mounted it yet, but yeah. Gonna mount us a TV up. TV gonna go instead of just sitting right here on the little tabletop gonna actually go on the ball right here. And that's what it's gonna be, man. The room is lit, got a lot of space. But we ain't talking about the room today. We are talking about the vinyl. <laughs> I'm showing y'all this right quick so I can get on up out of here because I actually gotta go buy some more vinyl. So yeah, glow in the dark, color changing, multi-color, uh, uh, layered 3D and reflective. So that's what it is. Let me show y'all right quick. And then on to the next video, on to the next project. Let me get these stuff done, man. Show y'all what we working with today. Okay, cool. So this is what we working with today. First, I'm gonna start off with the layered 3D with the reflective. So boom, y'all see these shorts, right? So as you can see, this is blue reflective on the inside. I mean, you probably can't tell it's reflective because there ain't no flash hitting it, but yeah. Blue reflective on the inside, white outline. That's what it is, bent up. That's what it say. If you see me zoom out, boom, that's that. So basically, the reflective is on the insert, the 3D is on the outside to give it like that raised effect. And that's in blue. And then also we got some in white and red so yeah red reflective is on the insert of these same way red and then the 3d foam is white outline i don't know if you can really tell if it's 3d foam from here but in person you can tell of course you know you can see the real texture so we're gonna do that right quick and that's what it is so the shorts are actually already done i just gotta do the shirt so i already laid down the base of the shirt that's the insert by itself so all i gotta do now is take this white right here boom put it on top of that and match it up and then, yeah, we Gucci, that's that. And do the same thing for the blue. So let me show y'all that right quick. And I'm gonna bring the camera up close and let y'all see how to match it up, man. And then I'll get on my computer and show y'all how I made the fun, uh, how I get the fun to, you know, break down and align perfectly or whatever, depending on the, which, the program you got. But most programs are the same anyway, but my program is a basic little program that I use for vinyl cutting. So most of us probably had this if you got the same vinyl cutter I got. So yeah, that's what it is. Let's get it. Give me this white. We're gonna layer these down right quick. Boom. Then we're gonna go in the photo room, take pictures of everything. I'm gonna show y'all the glow in the dark. I'm gonna show y'all the color change about it because it's already done. All I gotta do is just show y'all the effects of it and how it works. So we probably gonna have to put a couple shirts in the freezer today. And you know what I mean? <laughs> do that good stuff. So yeah, let's go on and hit these right quick. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, I got it over here. Now, sometimes being that the, when you peel off the design, it'll make these move. So we might have to get up on it close, man. And I might have to. All right, so what I'm, yeah, because it's aligned good, but I know it still ain't perfect to me. And let me show y'all what I mean. Let me zoom in. For the most part, y'all see it's aligned like almost perfectly, right? But it's like when you lift, when you put this down first, it's going to move a little bit because when you lifting up the clear transfer off of it, it makes it stretch or pull, the, you know, the design be hot. So it's make the shape of the words change just a little bit. 
it'd be just that little bit. So what I do is, okay, I know I can get the letters on there better singled out. So if anything, I'm going to clip this into half and then just use NUP by itself. And if I can get it perfectly like that, I'll do that. But if not, then I'm going to just clip it down word for word, which it'll take a little longer. And I told them that if I was doing a lot of these, I would have to, you know, give them a turnaround time. It would be longer just because it's two color in the way I got to do it. But overall, most of them come out A1. So we're going to try to get it right without doing that. But worst case scenario, I'm going to clip it with the scissors. So, yeah, let's see. Can I get this perfectly aligned? Boom, we got the P. And sometimes I just move the shirt around. So it'll be like this. Like you see how I'm pulling the shirt to make it match a little bit, depending on how good I can get it. Some of the words ain't, you know, it just ain't lined up. So instead of wasting time, because time is your most valuable asset, you don't want to be wasting time for no, you know what I mean? You want to just go ahead and make this simple. So instead of doing that, yo, we're going to do, we're going to take the B off. We're going to do the B and we're going to do the EE -E by itself. So I'm going to do the V and the EE -E by itself. Cause I need this matching up perfectly, but I feel like this word is a little smaller. Nah, never mind. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. That's it right there. Got to make sure that jump. Perfect, man. You don't want to play. I'm just a perfectionist. I'm gonna keep it real. So it be like that with me. I'm gonna make sure it's good. We're gonna hit the uh that first. Lift it up. We ain't gotta hit it that long because it's puff. And you want to go ahead and pull it on off so you can go and put the record on there. So I'm going to come out with the B by itself. Hit that. Boom. And then I'm going to clip the, the end too. So, boom, we're going to come out with that. And then we're going to go with the UP by itself. In fact, I'm gonna come to the end. I might have to do these one by one the way this is looking. But I feel like this word was a little small. I might have cut the wrong side just a little bit, but it's matching up though. I don't know, y'all. Sometimes it gets tricky, but overall, I got it. There we go. In. Boom. Mm. Now we just need the UP, bruh, to act right. Act right, UP. Come on. Don't feel like breaking it up into a whole new thing, man. Come on. Work with your boy. That we lit. That's good. That's perfect. Actually. Hold on. I need that flawless. All right, there we go. We good. Boom. Had to show y'all that. Been up. Boom. Two color. And it might not be light. Well, no, nah, that's actually A1. Damn. I was about to say it might not be flawless, but shit, you can tell. <laughs> But yeah, that's clean right there. We're going to do the blue, and then we're going to go in the photo room and then get pictures of everything. And then I'm going to show y'all the glow in the orange once again. Like I said, we got gear everywhere, man. I got all type of orders. I got to actually finish today. Hats, all type of stuff. So, yeah. Because y'all seen it with the real one. So this one came out super clean and I did it way quick. That actually wasn't no time. That's why I did that way quick. Or that blue is on that good. So yeah, that's laying 3D with reflective. And then you can kind of see it. You can kind of see the effect. You know, the thicker the word is with 3D, the more it show. But if you really looking and if you know what a 3D phone look like, then you know it, it you can see the 3D effect the closer you get up on it. But yeah, I'm gonna take everything in there, get some photos now, show y'all that glow in the dark and that color change, and then hit the camera flash on this, show y'all with that red and blue reflective pattern, like with the shorts and the other shirts. So yeah, let me hit this last one, and then I'm out of here. I'm gonna get on with the get on. I got another video on my film today too, so they about to be rolling out back to back. Get ready. All right, y'all, so that was the last shirt I had to print with the reflective. We can go 
in the photo room. We'll show y'all the color changing vinyl. Show y'all the glow in the dark. Show y'all how this reflective actually hit with that layer of uh, white puff around it. And that's what it is, man. And like I said, I'm working on like two, three videos today. So these are gonna be rolling out back to back to back because I got some more stuff I wanna show y'all, some more stuff I wanna talk to y'all about. And I got some new stuff I've been working on that I done figured out with this printing and this vinyl. I got some new hacks, glow in the dark. So let's, so yeah, let's, so yeah, let's go in here and look at this glow in the dark and this color changing so we can get on to the next video and the next video and the next video. All right, y'all. So look, we in the photo room. Y'all see I got the black backdrop going and I still haven't put the fresh white backdrop up. I'm going to take this down soon, man. I'm back on my grizzly. <laughs> But I've been working though, so it don't matter about that. You know what I mean? I'm I actually needed a break from the white backdrop. So that's why I got the black down real talk. Cause I ain't I get so caught up in white, I don't never pull none of the other colors down. But yeah. Y'all see I've been going crazy, man. Ain't got work. Work, work, work. Stuff everywhere, man. Stuff everywhere. Orders going in and out. Different brands. Different brands. All type of different stuff, man. Track suits, tees, three, four, five boxes. Boxes of shorts. Windbreaker shorts. All this stuff, man. Stuff everywhere. But yeah, we in here for the glow in the dark. And this is the glow in the dark. So the, the, the shorts got black reflective logos on it. So y'all know I can hit the camera flash to show y'all that. And then the shirt got glow in the dark on it. Uh, Glow green. So yeah, it should be charged up, man. Let me see. Hold on. As long as this light been on, it should be charged up. Yep, it's charged. See? That's what I'm saying. You see how hard that hit? And this light ain't even been on that long, but it's been on a good amount of time to charge it. And that ain't even fully charged. Now watch this. I'm going to hit this bulb. Show y'all how I do it. This is how I can show y'all how I really do this. If you want to see what the glow in the dark do. What the hell that is? Oh, thumbtack, y'all. Oh, where that fall from? All right, bet. So yeah, we just going to heat that. You know what I mean? Let that light hit it. Hold on. Look, you can already see the difference as soon as I move the light. I bet that's one. Oh, about to fall, man. I showed this on my Instagram, so if you follow my Instagram, you probably saw this already. But yeah, I just had I had to bring it on. Had to bring it on YouTube to show what that glow in the dark do. At least the glow in the dark that I get. You know, all uh, vinyl brands are different, so you never really know. Some brands don't glow as hard, just like some people reflect them don't hit as hard. Just like some 3D don't puff as hard. Boom, look how hard that hit. You, know? and you can see the one that I just lit. You see how bright that one is compared to the two that kind of cooled off, I guess. Yeah, that's fire, I ain't gonna lie. That glow in the dark. So yeah, that's what the glow in the dark look like, man. Simple. I just wanted to show y'all that. Give y'all a little teaser with that glow hitting light. You know what I mean? Y'all already know what the black reflect looking like, so I ain't really got to necessarily hit that. But yeah, it, it glow up quick. Like I said, you go outside for like two, three minutes in the real sun, and you're going to come back looking like that for sure. Quick. Like, you can go out there for 30 seconds. So yeah, that's what the glow in the dark look like. I'll put that in the link so y'all can grab some if y'all want to grab some. And also, yeah, so let me now... Let me um sit the camera down and show y'all what this color change is going to look like once I see where I put it. And it's uh, layered, it's layered 3D. So y'all see, I got to lay it out now. Y'all know me, man. It always turned out good when I figure out how I'm going to lay it down. <laughs> I don't never really know till I do it, but it always just come together. So just threw the shirts in the middle. Easy, simple. You know what I mean? Through one of each shorts on the end. Y'all see how clean that blue and red look. Blue and red reflective. I mean, with the white 3D on the outside. Clean. Came together clean. Two color design. And then, of course, this without the flash. So I'll turn on the flash so I can show y'all exactly what it looked like. But yeah, now nah, this came out good, though, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And then, let me brighten it up so y'all can see. Hold on. 
put the light over it a little better. Now you can really see. Yeah, y'all see, this came out good, man. I ain't gonna even lie, I like these a lot. First, I ain't even really like the two color. I mean, I like the outline like by itself like that, but this clean too, this came out good. So let me turn on the flash right quick and show y'all what it look like with the flash. All right, so, hold on. Let me see if y'all can really tell. All right, so you, y'all can kind of tell the difference because it, 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 you can see it, you can see it reflect like blue. Like I said, the blue reflector don't hit as hard as the silver and all that. But if I contrast it down, you can kind of tell that it's reflected by looking at it like this. Hold on. See what I mean? You can tell it's reflected though. Now, if you outside and the camera hit it, it's gonna definitely hit hard. But it just it's so bright in here and the way I got it. So but you can see the vinyl. You can tell it's different because the blue way darker when I don't got the camera flash on, and the red way darker too. See, it look, almost look like like an infrared when you hit it with a flash. Definitely clean though. So yeah, that's what it like with the camera flash. Let me show y'all what that color change doing. Hopefully it's uh, white already so I can go cool it off and show y'all. But yeah, that's what it is. I think I gotta go get that out the other room. Nation, I got the orange in here now. Let's get it out the way, man, so I can move on, get to the next video, get on with my day. All right, Nation, so I got the orange laid out. As y'all can see, black reflective. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, black reflective on the shorts. That's what it is on that. And this orange ain't the exact orange, but it was the closest orange that I can find. But right now, as y'all can see, it's color changing vinyl, right? Like y'all already know, if you've seen my old video, you see how it changed with the heat. So really, I need to go put these in the fridge to bring back the full color or the freezer, rather. This one was in the other room. I just brought this one in here last. So y'all see it's super white, like it's fully white because it's so hot in the other room. That it got the color maxed out like the hotter it get the uh more the color changes and then and these these two been in this room the whole time and i know this uh floor sound annoying because i'm walking on this backdrop so bear with me but yeah these already been in here and y'all see look okay look boom i'm just gonna touch it because my hand's hot look at that color change so i ain't even gotta go take it to the freezer y'all get the picture it would be way more orange than this but it's super hot in here in the house I just turned the AC on. <laughs> All that. I'm not really hot, but yeah. My hand's hot, evidently. My temperature is real hot, so change the whole color with just the body temperature. See that? That's hard, bro. That's hard. So yeah, if you haven't seen the color change the vinyl before, here you go. You're seeing it today. Change with the body temperature outdoor temperature all that colder it get the more the color gonna show how they get the more the color changes to white you know what i mean then like i said they got different colors so that's fire i just wanted to show y'all that you know what i mean i'm gonna put a link in there where y'all can grab some and all the different colors and yeah that's what it is glow in the dark color changing reflective 3d layered all that good stuff all that has been shown I'll put some links to some of this merch and stuff too. I'm gonna put I'm put some stuff together, man, where I'm gonna give y'all some uh sources and links to a lot of different boutiques and a lot of different wholesale spots and vendors where y'all can go grab merch at for people that starting their own clothing line or doing the printing and need to help their clients find work. Cause I get a lot of clients, I kinda help them actually find their blanks. But this is dope, man. That 3D on the shirt is definitely clean. So yeah, I'm gonna get on up out of here. I got some more videos I wanna work on and I gotta get to it. I gotta get this day going. So yeah, let me get to it, man. Y'all subscribe to the channel. If y'all need any tips, need to know where to get any vinyl, got any questions, hit me up. Yeah, we out.